What do you make of the ball club? I think they're in good shape. You know, you win 15 uh, games every month, you're going to end up with about 90 wins. And I think considering you're doing it without Altuve, without Michael Brantley, without Lance McCullers Jr., you're in pretty good shape. And if you can maintain this until those guys get back, you're only going to get better. And what have you thought of Hunter Brown? I mean, it's just <laughs> been a – it's really impressive, isn't it? It is impressive, yeah. I mean, you know, you have these guys that have this prospect status put upon them and you wonder how they're going to perform at this level. But I think he's in a good situation and kind of given the opportunity, uh, he's taken it by the horns. You know, it's been a lot of fun to watch a guy with that much talent uh, show the mental fortitude to be able to go out there and execute and uh, maximize what his talent can bring. And it's been really impressive the last three starts. And from your perspective, what is what is Jose Abreu just do for this lineup in terms of just just depth and just star power? Um, I think he's just going to give them a little more depth. I think that's what they're looking for is another bat in that lineup that can drive in runs and be a little bit of a threat and protect a guy like Jordan Alvarez. All right now, i got to get your perspective on the AOS as well. You know, we covered the Texas Rangers as well. What, 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 what did you think of what um, just what – what do you make of the AL West landscape right now with, with the Rangers making all those moves? Yeah, I mean, it'll be interesting. You know, DeGrom going on the injured list is going to be something to think about, too, and how they move forward with him or replace him. But, uh, you know, if you can get Nathan Avaldi pitching like he has in the past and you can get Andrew Heaney doing what he's a capable of doing, it's just up to the offense about going out there and scoring runs. And if they can score runs, they'll be a formidable force. But uh, the Astros have shown that they can pitch to him. And Jordan Alvarez. <laughs> Is there is there enough stated about this this young man and just what he's done so far uh, in his career? You know what, it, I, I, thus far, probably not enough because I think we're you know we're we're gradually going to be exposed to what he actually is over the years, and I think that what you're going to start to see is that he is a very good hitter. He's not underrated. He's not overexposed. I mean, this is a guy that can go out there, can control the strike zone, and uh, crush pitches in, pitches inside the zone. And it's I know it's way too early and maybe a little premature, but I saw one guy do things that he's doing. His name was Barry Bonds. So if he can get to something like that, uh, that's going to be an incredible career for Jordan Alvarez. I love that. I love that. All right, and I'm going to put you on the spot here. Hopefully we can get a good story out of you. But just looking back on your career, do you, do you have a favorite memory that, like, most sticks with you? Uh, yeah, but I can't talk about it inside this building. <laughs> I got you. All yeah. right, Jeff. Well, really appreciate the time. Yep, no thank you very much. Yep, thank you. Good meeting you. Good to meet you.